kind of a, not, not a weird or a rare concept, but a very, very specific concept with each and every one of you today. I want to talk to those of you that have recently, or maybe even a while ago, and it's still affecting you, uh, but you have lost a loved one, right? A family member, a friend, a parent, a grandparent, uncle or aunt. I don't know who that would be. But, but you've been really broken up about the loss of that loved one, and it's affected you greatly. Maybe even especially if you lost them when they were younger, right? If, if you felt that they had more years on this earth. And you know, there, there's something that I've said for many years, but, but interestingly, I had never actually found the verse that, that quite confirmed it. I'll be honest, I never actually looked it up. But as I was thinking about how God brings triumph in our tragedies, and I was researching some Bible verses, I came across these two verses and realized that, hey, what I'd been saying for years was actually true. Um, it's right there in the Bible for all to see. And I want to share it with you today. It's found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 57, verses 1 and 2. It says, good people pass away. The godly often die before their time, right? Have you noticed that? There's good people, godly people that pass away when they're 40 years old, 30 years old, 20 years old. And you go, why? Well, why did this happen? Why would God allow this? Not that God caused it, but why would he allow it to happen? And then he goes on to say, but no one seems to care or wonder why. No one seems to understand that God is protecting them from the evil to come. For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. What an incredible couple of verses. Some incredible truth for our lives. To know the reality that even though people pass away early, that God is actually protecting them from difficulties, from evil that might have come in their future. You see, God's perspective is eternal. Ours tends to be temporal or temporary. We, we, we tend to look at the here and now. But God, out of his great love for, for his children, for those who have put their faith in him, might allow a, a, a moment to come, a tragedy to even come, that would take that person home to be with him, but would keep them from major danger, major difficulty, major evil in the coming days of their lives. You see, because God's perspective is eternal. And he knows what the future for everybody is. You and I don't. And so if there's anything I'd like to encourage you to do is to gain an eternal perspective. And that doesn't mean that you are going to understand everything that God does and why he does it. But what it might allow you to do is to understand at the very least that God knows what he's doing and to trust him in it. Because you see, one day when we pass to the other side and we go to our heavenly home where they are already at rest and at peace, when we get there ourselves, we will be able to see them and spend all eternity with them. And while it's difficult and it's a sacrifice and it's painful for those we love to pass away here on earth, especially before their time, might it be the case that God permits it and allows it because our momentary pain might actually be saving them from many years of greater pain. But instead, God in his great mercy and grace took them home to be with him. You know, it was a difficult thing in this season of, of the coronavirus that many people were not able to be with and see loved ones before they passed away. And uh, in some cases, not even after they passed away. And, and the reality is, is that is extremely difficult. And if you have gone through that, just know and trust that God is faithful. And as he brings people into eternity, you, my friend, know that the future is secure and that you will see them once again. So trust in Jesus. Believe in the plan that he has even if it doesn't always work out exactly the way that we want it to or think it should. Because God many times is doing a great act of grace and mercy to protect his own from many difficulties to come. We will see them one day in the future. And that is our great hope. God bless you. Have a great day.